Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I have really been wanting to just kind of get in the kitchen, hang out, have like a casual day, making lots of cozy, delicious, yummy fall recipes. And so I thought that's what we could do today. I'm gonna start us off by making this delicious looking coffee. I found this recipe on Pinterest and I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. And I think it's gonna be better than what you can get like at a coffee shop, so I cannot wait to make it. It's called like a brulee caramel coffee. It's gonna be delicious and then I'm also gonna make my mom calls them apple bundles but you guys know we went apple picking with my family last week and I have ample amounts of apples left over that's really hard to say so I was like what can I do and I remember my mom making these whenever I was a little girl and I'm like mom send me the recipe I want to make those so that's what we're gonna do today it's kind of like you slice them and put them in like crescent rolls with cinnamon and sugar and bake them in the oven I think they're gonna be amazing so anyway we're gonna make that and then for dinner tonight we are gonna make a lasagna soup I found this recipe in the pioneer woman's cookbook and it sounded amazing I'm actually really proud of myself because you guys know I'm not one that just like loves tomatoes and I would never normally eat like a tomato based soup but I was reading all of the ingredients and it just sounds incredible so I'm really proud of myself I think I'm going to love it I know Bunky is gonna love it so we are both really excited to have that tonight for dinner and then just to have extras this week Week kind of for like lunches and stuff so anyway I'm gonna flip you guys around and we're gonna get started on this coffee first okay so to start this coffee off I have my small little saucepan here and to that I'm gonna add about three-fourths cup of milk the actual recipe calls for a cup of milk but I think it makes a lot more than just like two I'm only making one for me and Bunky so I'm gonna do about three-fourths cup of it and then about a quarter cup of like a caramel sauce I saw this one and thought the salted caramel sounded amazing so I went ahead and got this one but if you you can only find just like a regular caramel sauce then just get that and to that we're going to add about one teaspoon of brown sugar and we're just going to let all of this kind of dissolve and melt together and that's what we're going to pour into our coffee so i'm going to go ahead and get this started and then i will get my coffee brewing Okay, this already looks absolutely beautiful and I've tasted that little milky caramel sauce and oh my heavens, it tastes so good. So to make this over the top and even more amazing, I'm gonna take a little bit of this extra creamy ready whip. I'm gonna put that on top. Then we're gonna do an extra drizzle of caramel and a sprinkle of cinnamon. Like, is this not sound so good? Okay, how perfect is this coffee? It's not only beautiful, but I know it's gonna taste good. I cannot wait for Bunky to try this. I'm about to take this one to him and then make one for me. Okay, I'm just here to say I may never go to Starbucks again because this was so simple and it is amazing. I love it. And Bunky doesn't even really love coffee that much and he said it's equally as delicious. Y'all have to try this. It was so simple. It didn't take like any extra time. It's really, really good. And so cozy and warm. I love the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Is that cinnamon? Yeah. The recipe didn't call for cinnamon, but I just feel like it would be a good added touch. <laughs> it is a good added touch, boo. I like that caramel drizzle. Mm -hmm. It's like melting. Oh my gosh, Spunky, this is amazing. Yeah, it is actually. 
So now it is time to make these delicious and super easy little apple bundles. I'm telling you, peeling the apple is like the hardest part. These took no time and they were so yummy. I think Bunky and I both had to. We both were like, we have to make these again. They were so good. So you're just gonna start out by peeling your apple and then you're gonna kind of cut it in half and cut these little like half moon shapes. And that's what you're gonna stuff inside of your crescent roll. Now this recipe does call for the juice of an orange as well as the zest of the orange. I totally forgot the orange at the grocery store. So I just put a little bit of orange juice down in the bottom of my baking dish and it worked out just fine. So if you forget the orange, no worries, just use your orange juice. And then I'm just gonna take my crescent rolls, pull them apart and start stuffing them with about four to five apples. You don't wanna overstuff them. Um, and then I just kind of wrap the dough around the apples into little bundles. So next you're gonna add your little apple bundles to the bottom of your baking dish and then you're just gonna brush them with a little bit of melted butter and this is what your cinnamon sugar mixture is gonna stick to. If you have the orange, this is where you're gonna add the orange zest. So I did about a tablespoon of brown sugar and white sugar and then about a teaspoon of cinnamon and if you have your orange zest, you just add that right in as well. I had a lot of this mixture left over so don't feel like you have to do that much. Um, you can just kind of eyeball it. So sprinkle that all over the top of them and then pop them into the oven at 375 for 25 minutes and that is it. They come out absolutely perfect, golden brown, ooey gooey and delicious. Bunky said the only thing that he would change to these is to add a few more apple slices to his. Apparently he wanted his to be like full to the brim of apples, but I thought they were perfect just the way they are. And I hope you guys will try these. I think they would be such like a perfect fall weekend breakfast for your family. They are just so easy to make and I think everyone would really enjoy them. Okay, now it is time to get started on this soup and y'all, I just feel like there is nothing more cozy and warm and amazing in the fall time than a good hearty soup and I don't eat soup often enough. I only ever like like loaded baked potato soup so I'm really excited to try this. I think I'm really going to love it and I wanted to tell you um, I will type up the entire recipe and put it down below in my description box for you guys because it's kind of a lot of ingredients um, but it's very simple because you're just literally throwing everything into the pot and we're going to use our Dutch oven to kind of make this but I will flip you around and kind of give you a gist of all of the ingredients and then we will get started. Bunky is very excited because he said he's so hungry. He's been waiting all day for this, pretty much. Mm -hmm. I'm perturbed. <laughs> Here's kind of an overview of everything. Bunky has our water boiling because we are gonna make lasagna noodles. We're gonna break them up into like smaller pieces, cook them about one minute less than what the box says, and then set them aside and we'll get started on the rest of the soup. And we are gonna use ground beef. You're gonna use a breakfast sausage. So I just have the Jimmy Dean's regular sausage. That's gonna give it so much yummy flavor. And y'all, there's onions in here. But what I'm gonna do is start out by sauteing the onions, take them out, set them aside for Bunky, and then I'll add everything else in. See? See, that's how you're gonna do it. That's how I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. But aren't you guys proud of me for even putting them in the same pot as everything else, okay? So I'll we'll saute that, saute the garlic. There's thyme, basil, Parmesan. Um, a crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, and then at the end, we're gonna make little like ricotta balls, I guess. Or we do like ricotta, parmesan, and basil, and then drop those in. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so good. But first things first, we gotta get these in the pot so they can start cooking. Start burling. Burling. <laughs> now I got a question for sure. you, Bunky. While we're, while we're, this is going, can we go ahead and start cooking the other stuff too? Sure. Perfect, because I'm hungry. I know. Well, he's over here hangry at me today. You said this was going to be ready like three hours ago. I got really busy, Bunky. <laughs> Are we going for a rough chop here, Bonk, or a mince? I'm going for like a mixture of both. <laughs> We're going for whatever this turns out like. 
Are we going for a dice or a slice? Like, I feel like you just like would like a... Maybe we should dice it. A little smaller? Let me look at it again. Like, wouldn't you just let it have like a little string of onion? Yeah, I would actually. So let's do it like that. Is that fine? Yeah. Is that enough? I think so. By the way, y'all, our house is a mess because we just got back from camping yesterday and like we threw everything in the floor, so. 10 to 12 minutes. So we're gonna do 10 minutes. Okay. We'll just use the old timer here. Let me turn this back burner on and you pop those back there. Right, right. Okay, so with these onions and garlic, it says to um, cook them with a little bit of oregano and thyme. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for both. Like I'll add some thyme to the onions and then I'll add some thyme and oregano to the garlic as well. We're gonna start with the onions. Yeah, and see, at least the, um, at least the flavor of the oil is still gonna have that onion flavor in it. Like I'm trying, you know, baby steps. Yeah. Okay, I can't do this. I'm clearly. I uh, think you're supposed to like. Just to hold the stem and then just be able to pull, but I'm pulling and I'm pulling it apart. I think I'm pulling too hard. No. I smell good. Gosh, it smells so good. Like, there is nothing better than like the smell of like thyme and basil, rosemary. So I think I already said this, but just to say it again, as long as you're not a crazy person like me and you really like onions, leave those in there and saute them with the garlic. If you don't like onions and you are like me, first of all, I'm so glad to know that I'm not alone. And second of all, you can just take them out and then pop them into whoever soup that wants the onions. Okay, so to the sauteed garlic, the thyme, and the oregano, we're gonna go ahead and add in both the ground beef as well as the breakfast sausage. Okay, so our meat is pretty much brown. We're gonna go ahead and drain about half of this grease. So I kind of have it pushed over to the side here. So Bunny's gonna get half that grease out. And then once we do that, we'll add in like our tomato paste, tomatoes, chicken stock, all the rest of our ingredients, and then it'll simmer for about 20 minutes. Oh, and we did add salt and pepper to this too, by the way, I just forgot to show you guys. Okay, so we got most of that grease out and I'm just gonna add about three tablespoons of tomato paste. Stir this in and then let it cook for about a minute. And then we're gonna deglaze the bottom of it with some wine. It calls for white wine. I forgot to get some. We only have red wine, so we're using the red wine. You use whatever you have. We'll let you know. <laughs> I think it's gonna be just fine. Yeah, given that we're cooking with red stuff, I think red wine will be fine. I agree. Okay, so this is to add the wine to deglaze, but you can see there's not really anything like stuck to the bottom of our pan, but I am gonna go ahead and add just a little bit. So I'm just gonna pour in a splash of this red wine. I think if anything, that's just gonna give like a deeper, richer flavor. Just drop a little bit more. Okay, in I'll it. drop a little more. Are you trying to save the rest for yourself? I mean, I might want to have a glass of dinner. <laughs> All right. That wine smells so good in there. And then are we gonna put the onions back in there now? No. Okay, so the recipe called for one can of whole tomatoes and to dump it in with their juice. I just got a big can of crushed tomatoes, so that's what I'm gonna use because I think they'll be just fine. And then to this, we're now gonna add in four cups of chicken broth, so it's just one container of it. Fat free. <laughs> I think all chicken broth is fat free. Okay, and next we're gonna add in our parsley and then we're gonna bring this to a boil and then reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for about 20 minutes and then add salt and pepper if you need and then we will pour in our cream, our noodles, all of the goodness, the ricotta, and this will be done. It's actually very simple. Okay, we're gonna turn it up, let it start simmering and then we'll cut it back down to low. And cover. It actually doesn't say to cover. It just says let it simmer on low for 20 minutes. Let it simmer. Okay, I was trying to say this earlier when my camera cut off, but Bucky and I were talking about this this weekend, how like ever since he's working from home and I've been working from home, we just have like no schedule and we've been crazy busy and then trying to get like the farm ready for the RV. We've been going there a bunch during the week and then eating out because it'll be so late. And we, we both just were like, we miss being in the kitchen and like cooking. And I think that's why I haven't had as many what's for dinners too, just because we have haven't had time to like make meals together so this weekend we were on our RV trip we both said you know what we are gonna reset we're gonna start making some dinners again in the kitchen because that's what makes us happy 
we eat better that way it's fun we can make memories and get back to making lots more at what's for dinner so anyways i just want to tell you guys that update we're getting back to like cooking with the bunkies in the kitchen <laughs> Okay, so now that this has been simmering for about 20 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add in about half a cup of heavy cream, and then we're gonna add in those cooked lasagna noodles and let this keep cooking for about five to 10 more minutes, and then it'll be ready. Go ahead and pour this in. Uh-huh. So now I can put my onions in? No. <laughs> you can put your onions into your own bowl. This looks heavenly. Pretty interesting. So while that finishes, I'm going to go ahead and make our little ricotta mixture. And this you're just going to kind of form into little balls and drop it on top of your soup. And it'll kind of melt in and give you that like creamy cheesiness. So I'm going to add ricotta to my bowl. And then it calls for basil. The only basil we had is kind of old, so I'm not going to add ours in there. But it also calls for parsley, so I'll go ahead and add that in. I'm just going to kind of pull it apart with my fingers. We'll do some salt and pepper. And then Parmesan cheese. And then you'll just kind of form it into little balls like that and we'll just drop this right on top of the soup. And that, my friends, is lasagna soup, and it looks incredible. Okay, I wanna try a little bite of it with this ricotta, because I think that's gonna just make it over the top. Oh, you gotta add your onions to yours. Meanwhile. What? You're the one that's been hangry, and I'm the one eating. My mouth's watering. It's gonna be hot, isn't it? It is. Already burned my mouth. What does it taste like? Lasagna in but soup better. form? The better. <laughs> you know what it is? What is it? The sausage. The sausage. It gives it so much flavor. Oh my gosh. This is so delicious. And honestly, it took a little while. But it's just all thrown in a pot, so it's very simple to make. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Monkey, this is like better than like olive oil and panera soup, okay? I'm just saying. I'm gonna tell you, I felt <laughs> extremely Italian whenever I was cooking this whole meal, by the way. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let you take a bite. Okay. But I can't stop. Dang, Monkey. I like that very much. It is amazing. Yeah, it is. You guys have to try this. It is absolutely so good, so warm and cozy and hearty and just like a great alternative to like having to make spaghetti, I mean make lasagna. It's a lot less trouble. You have to do all that layering and whatnot. It's so delicious. That's pretty good. Bunky was questioning me. He's like, I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I like it. I'm a fan. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video, but thank you so much for hanging out with me in the kitchen today. I hope it gave you all of the cozy fall inspiration. You guys will have to try these recipes and tell me what you think. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.